So you may have seen the YouTube video with Bill Gates, where Bill Gates says something along the lines of, everybody should learn how to program because programming teaches you how to think. And that is a crock of shit. Nobody is going to use or think of if else statements in their daily life, except in this case that I am about to use right now. And the reason that we have if else statements is pretty simple. And that's because we don't want all of our code to execute at once. You want certain parts of your code to execute. And if we don't have if else statements, all of our code will execute in a straight line. And that may have worked back in the 60s, but that doesn't work today with the complexity of programs. So we have this if else statement in order to control parts of our program to execute at specific moments. So just remember, this is hypothetical code. This code will not actually work. This is pseudo code. And to our right, we have three different spiders. This is a cute spider. You could play with the spider if you want to. It's a jumping spider. But down here, we have two incredibly venomous, dangerous spiders that will kill you in your sleep, literally. In my area, you hear all the time people getting bit by this spider right here. It's called a brand recluse. Uh, this is a Black Widow spider, not as common, and you very rarely hear people getting bit by them, but still kind of cool and dangerous. So our program is going to check for the dangerous spiders, and if it is not a dangerous spider, it is going to run. So what we're going to do is here, hypothetically, not real code, we're going to have a dangerous spider. So what's going to happen in our if else statement is the if is going to actually check within the brackets if it is a danger spider. And if it is a danger spider, our code will not run and it will actually go to our else if. The next thing that's gonna happen is that it's going to check to see, is this a black widow spider? And if it is a black widow spider, it's not going to run and it's going to go to our else statement where it will automatically run regardless. Notice once again that there are no actual brackets here. There's no brackets to actually check if the spider is dangerous or not. The else is just a Hail Mary of the actual if else statement. It's basically saying, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to go ahead at the very end, run this else statement. And the beauty of if else statements is that you can infinitely chain these on. So let's just say we also wanted to add a else if statement to check if the spider is a good spider. We could actually do the same exact thing just by adding another else if, which I will do right now. So what we will do is we'll just go ahead and hypothetically chain on another else if. We'll go in here. And what we will do is we will add our actual nice spider in here. And I need to add an, an extra space. So what we'll do, go ahead in here. We'll add our good spider, our jumping spider that we do want to check. And I need to go ahead, bring this down and bring down my jumping spider because it's uh, not aligned. So what's going to happen again? So it's going to go through here. It's going to check. This is the bad spider. We don't want this one. We definitely don't want the black widow. And then we go down here and we can also make it to where if it is the spider that we want, this code will run and the else statement will not run because there is no Hail Mary. There is no last ditch effort to save the if else statement because we found the good spider that we wanted. So let's go ahead into VS Code and let's actually type up some real if statements and let's make it so that we actually put this visual pseudocode into real code that will actually run. So as our code is getting more and more complex, we're going to move more away from the actual terminal and we're going to move more towards VS Code. We've been working in the terminal a lot, but these if else statements, they take up a lot of space. So go ahead, whip out VS Code and make your browser available on the other side. Fire up live server if you haven't already. You can fire it up by pressing right click on the index HTML, open with live server. And you can also just go down here and click the live server button. That's a nice little GUI button. Next thing we want to do is just to make sure that our live server is working. Let's go ahead and say working, go ahead, save it, run it. And now we actually have a console log of working in the terminal. So we now know everything is working correctly. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to actually define the spider that we want. 
you could define any type of spider that you want. You could go define a black widow. It could be a spider native to your area. It could be a jumping spider. I'm gonna go ahead and just have a nice little jumping spider. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to put jumping spider in there. Once again, you could put black widow that you want to. And then I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to check if the spider is indeed a black widow. So if I go into here and I say, is spider black widow run? Because we do not want to go near black widows because they are dangerous and if they bite you, they probably really could kill you. And let's go ahead and this is the simplest if else. And just remember, you don't have to have the other three parts of the else if. You don't have to have an else if. You don't have to have an else. What you do is you can chain them together however you want to, but you do need an if at the first. You cannot have an else without an if because it kind of just makes, it intuitively just makes sense. So if I go into here and if it is not a Black Widow, we will say console log catch and study. So catch and study. And if I run this, you can kind of intuitively guess what's going to happen. It's going to check if the spider is a black widow and if it's not, it's going to run. But watch what happens when we actually make this a black widow. So we are a spider scientist and we want to check if it is a black widow, what's going to happen is, let's go ahead and see here. Oh, this is actually spelled wrong. That's the reason why it's still not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And if we go ahead and run it with the Black Widow as our variable up here, what's going to happen is it's going to tell you to run. But let's just say in our spider program, we've identified very faulty logic. We don't have the correct logic that we want. And the spider that we are trying to identify is actually a brown recluse. This is the spider that's actually the most dangerous spider that kills people all the time near me. No cap. Like people actually die all the time from brown recluses in my area. And what's going to happen is that our spider program could potentially actually kill us because we did not actually put an else if in here that's going to identify the brown recluse. So we potentially have a very dangerous program. So we need to go ahead and fix this logic or it could kill us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to add an else if that's going to identify the actual brown recluse spider. So we're going to say, is the spider equal to brown recluse? And make sure that I spell it right or else I'll get another faulty program again. So we go in here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to identify it again. So let's go in here. I'm going to say console.log and say run as well too, because we also want to run from the brown recluse. So what's gonna happen is that we go ahead and run it. And if you look at it, it is in fact telling us to run. So this is bare bones, all that you really need to get by when understanding if else statements. If you can understand this conceptually, you've got if else statements nailed down and you have conceptually mastered how to think like a programmer. Anyways, I'm just being funny. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.